Hey everybody, uh, today I'm making a video of one of my spring soaps that I'm going to make. This is going to be Sea Salt and Orchid. It smells amazing. And we're doing a purple ombre bar with this nice purple color. And we're going to do some gold sparkle mica in between the layers. So it'll give it a nice, like, kind of stripey appearance. And I might do some on the top as well just to give it a little bit of extra sparkle. Um, this is my first video. So pardon me if it doesn't go very well. <laughs> I'm not brave enough to go live yet just because... In case anything goes wrong plus I have a little one running around right now and she may make some noise so anyways <clears throat> this is called a hot process soap and the way you make hot process soap is you can do it either in like a double boiler or you can do it in a regular pot if you're really careful not to scorch the soap um, but I like to make it in a crock pot because it kind of acts like a double boiler and as you can see, I've already done the first step, which is making the lye water and putting all my oils together. This particular soap has um, mostly coconut oil, shea butter, and castor oil. So it'll be a nice moisturizing bar. Um, and like I said, it's going to smell amazing. And with the purple ombre and the gold flex, it'll be really pretty. Just wanted to kind of show you how it goes. <clears throat> um, so once this is ready, it'll be really thick and I'll mix up the layers one by one, mixing different amounts of the purple dye. And then it's gonna go in this nice loaf pan where it's gonna sit for 24 to 48 hours while it hardens. This one should be a nice hard bar because I used a lot of coconut oil um, another really cool thing about coconut oil is that it makes lots of lather. So if you like really lathery soap, this will be one for you. Um, so this takes about 20 to 30 minutes to cook. And then we're going to check the pH with these little handy dandy pH strips to make sure that it's safe for you to use and not too um, alkaline because lye is very alkaline and so you have to be really careful working with it um, that is pretty much it um, I will make another video once I get it in the loaf pan so you can kind of see what it looks like before it's hardened all right everybody have a good day